Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about load management as well as uh, furniture management in the game or in your Serenity pot uh, in order for you to maximize the, the furnishing and at the same time for you to know uh, what are the items that actually takes uh, so much load uh, for you to be able to manage the, the placements of your furniture. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first item that I wanted to talk to you guys about would actually be this fireplace right here, uh, which is called Northern Stone Hearth. Um, and apparently uh, this particular item, although it's very cool uh, and it looks very nice, um, each one of these actually takes up 727 load in that specific area where you put them at. So um, if you guys don't know what load is, it's uh, you can think of it as like, you know, it could, it, it's basically the spacing um, of uh, each particular furniture um, that is being consumed in, in one particular uh, area. So for example, uh, this particular, um, you know, fireplace takes up like the portion of that. But uh, how it works is that each item, they have a designated uh, uh, load to it. And apparently uh, this fireplace, although it's not very big, um, it consumes a lot of load in the game. And so you want to be able to make sure that you uh, don't put like, you know, or don't craft a lot of these items everywhere um, and make sure you put them smart, uh, you know, in uh, smartly and at the same time you manage the, the, the load basically where you want to put uh, this particular uh, item to. So um, let's move on to the next item. So the next item um, that I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually uh, these big plants right here. So in the game, there are actually like three types of plants, uh, like this small one, uh, and at the same time, this one, uh, and this is the biggest one, right? Um, apparently, uh, this particular item actually consumes about 338, um, you know, uh, load. And at the same time, it only gives you about 60, um, adaptal energy uh, similar to the fireplace uh, that we talk about and so um, I actually uh, what, one of the mistakes that I made was I actually made a lot of them um, I used to put like two at the at the you know at the door um, but I realized that it actually consumes a lot of um, uh, what I call this a lot of uh, load in, in, in my housing system and so I kind of like remove them and you know kind of like uh, find a way to still make my, my housing system uh, look cool uh, even though I don't have that much plants uh, you know around so yep uh, let's get into the third item so the third item that I wanted to talk to you guys about would actually be uh, the pets right so I know that pets are very cute, uh, just like this one. Um, I don't know how it managed to uh, get onto on top of uh, you know my lap, but um, basically, uh, you know, pets actually takes up 500 load, uh, and it's uh, per pet. So each of them actually consumes uh, 500 load each. And so, um, if you wanna if you wanna uh, put like some pets in in one particular area, uh, you wanna be smart about it as well. Uh, make sure that you are aware of the load that they have uh, in order for you to still, uh, you know, sort of like put other um, furnitures and, and stuff like that. Because uh, I've seen like a lot of my friends in the game, they actually put like five pets uh, at the ground floor and, you know, their ground floor, they, they do not have much uh, furniture to put because the pets, each of them consumes 500 and they already take up most of the load um, in that particular area. So. Uh, I'm not saying you avoid um, putting pets, but at the same time, you want to you wanna make sure that you manage your load and furnishing uh, properly. So um, let's get into the next item. So the next item would actually be uh, these stoves right here. So as you guys can see, I have two stoves. Uh, one is this big one, which is uh, it came from uh, the battle pass. Uh, and at the same time, this small one. So apparently, each one of them actually consumes about 558 um, load, while the big one gives you about 90 adaptal energy, while the small ones uh, give you about, uh, you know, uh, 60 adaptal energy. So you want to be smart about it as well, uh, the placement of the furniture, and at the same time, uh, considering the load where you want to put them under. Um, where you want to put them at so for example like me I actually uh, crafted two of the big ones so one is at the ground floor and one is at the second floor so I'm, I'm still thinking like should I just you know put like one and uh, you know uh, plan out uh, where do I want to put the the big stove right so yeah let's get into the next item 
So the next item that I uh, want to um, actually encourage you guys to avoid crafting would actually be these lamps uh, that is on the table right here. Um, although they are quite, you know, pretty, uh, but at the same time, number one, they are quite hard to um, kind of like, they are, uh, they are a bit awkward to put like just like everywhere um, in your housing system. Uh, and they are also quite awkward to put on top of the table. And apparently this particular uh, ornament or lamp uh, actually takes up 220 um, at uh, what I call this load and it only gives about 60 um, adaptal energy. So um, one of another mistake that I made was I actually made a lot of them as well. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it actually consumes a lot of load. For example, right now I'm on red uh, currently in this particular room. If I want to add one more item, um, I'm probably going to be uh, basically like maxed out, right? But if I remove this particular item and this item, I'm back to yellow. So I'm probably going to be able to put like one more uh, bookshelves right there and, and stuff like that. So you, you really want to make sure that you're managing, um, you know, the, the, the furnishing that you have in the game because um, those small, small items that you are crafting uh, might be already taking a lot of load. And so, yeah, um, one of the things that I would like to encourage you guys uh, to build more and put more in your housing system would actually be these bookshelves. So for example, uh, let me show you my mini library here. So if you guys can see here, um, and this is also one of the tips and tricks that I can uh, give to you guys, right? So if you wanna create like a mini library, you can actually stack the books like this. So how it works is you just basically uh, wanna make sure that these uh, shelves are aligned and when you actually place them, they're just gonna clip just like that. And you can also craft like something like these uh, to kind of like uh, have a little bit of um, what I call this. I don't know what it's called, but it's, it just looks pretty in my eyes. So I, I, I put like uh, some of those as well. So um, even though there's like a lot of big furnitures in this particular room, um, and although it's already like, um, uh, I mean, it's not actually fully uh uh, what I call this maxed out I'm still gonna be I'm it's still gonna allow me to put maybe a couple of paintings and maybe a table over there and I also have some plant here so if I actually remove this it's gonna you know give me more space to put like another table um, right here and so yeah um, it's just uh, you know a couple of uh, tricks that I can give to you guys uh, in order for you to number one beautify your um, you know, uh, your serenity pot or your mansion. And at the same time, uh, what I call this, put more furnitures. And uh, by the way, uh, each do each of those bookshelves actually gives about 90 um, adaptal energy. So it's also going to help you out in terms of boosting your adaptal energy and getting those, uh, you know, uh, higher rel uh, realm currency. And um, the, the next thing uh, that I wanted to talk to you guys about would actually be these uh, big bookshelves, right? right here so at the at my favonius office at the bottom i actually have like two of them um, but i like it this way is because i'm trying to replicate the favonius office which in favonius office in monstad there's actually like a lot of these uh in in master jeans uh you know office and so i'm kind of like replicating it and so um even though it consumes a lot of load still it's pretty and you know it fills up a lot of like empty space and so i kind of like you know uh like it this way and so i built uh, a lot of these so currently i actually have four four of them and uh so yeah um this particular uh, uh big uh, library bookshelf um actually takes about 169 uh, uh sorry 270 uh, 270 um, load and at the same time these bookshelves right here is about 169 but both of them gives about 90 um, adaptal energy and so the I also encourage you guys to uh, craft a lot of the uh, wall decorations uh, because each of them actually only consumes about 85 um, you know load and at the same time it gives you uh, if it's a purple item it gives you about 90 um, you know adaptal energy as well so um, and of course, uh, a lot of you have built a lot of these, uh, you know, um, screens and uh, sliding panels. Um, they are good, but they would be quite difficult for you to design later on. So I encourage you guys to 
build or craft these bookshelves instead uh, rather than those uh, panels because the bookshelves you can always have a purpose for them rather than the the panels so currently i already put like three there and i still have like um where are those I still have like six that I don't know where to uh, put them to. So um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, by the way, I will be uh, putting a, a link uh, down at the description uh, for the I the list of the items and uh, you know each item, how much adaptal energy it gives and how much load it actually consumes uh, to help you guys out in terms of you know maximizing your um, furnishing and at the same time designing your mansion. So. Please uh, feel free to let me know down below um, if you guys, uh, if I missed anything or if you guys uh, want to uh, sort of like uh, to see a quick guide how I designed my, my mansion. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.